Yeah, I just want to apologize for the other day. Um, I kind of, I got a, a load of hate unexpectedly on the ranch, so uh, I kind of missed you guys with that. But yeah, I just wanted to apologize for that. I'm sorry for wasting everybody's time. How big is the ranch, and where is the ranch? Uh, it's actually it's out between Merkel and Todd, Texas. Um, probably right now sitting at about 40 acres. And I'm pushing cows and horses on it. James, how did you decide to sign with the Cowboys? What appeals to you about the team, and why do you think they're a good fit here? Um, I I I decided um just look dreams for me, especially growing up in Stanford, Texas, which is. Only two and a half hours from Dallas. Uh, I grew up a Cowboys fan, and um, you know, I, I feel like I feel like their scheme and the way that they run things around there kind of fits my personality. And just a great group of guys, you know, to share a room with, and and the uh, the pedigree and everything that's been through Dallas is just, I mean, top notch for sure. So that that, that had a lot to weigh on my mind, and just the the scenery and. Plus, I'm playing in front of family. How do you think you fit in their offense? How do you think you fit their offense? How do you think you fit in the Cowboys' I, offense? I think I could bring the physicality. Um, you know, Michael Gallup, uh, CD, all those guys show, you know, a lot of physical uh, abilities right now. I just feel like I could add to it. And um, you know, I feel like my my strength is just when the ball's in there, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay out for it. I'm gonna give everything I got to try and come down with that ball for the team, move the chains, uh, and just work at it. You know, I'm, I'm gonna work my butt off to do what I need to do, earn the respect from those guys, and and just just do what I gotta do to help win that Super Bowl. Because at the end of the day, that's our goal. Have you had much discussions with Dak yet uh, since signing here? I haven't. We just kind of talked. Um, I think he's he's throwing stuff. So I'm just trying to coordinate, trying to get my family and everything moved to Dallas so that I can get in with those guys, start working out and, 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 and getting to know everybody and kind of building chemistry with everyone. How familiar were you with C.D. Cornell's Oklahoma days? Oklahoma, Oklahoma um, so I wasn't too familiar with him. I think when I was coming out, he was just not coming in. But um, watching him, you know, once I got to the league, um, he was a playmaker. You know, he's going to find a way to make a play. and He's uh, very talented. Uh, don't really know much of him personally. But from what I heard from other guys, he's a, he's a great guy to be around. What was the reaction to the hometown that that you'd be coming and playing for the Cowboys? Oh, it was crazy, man. It felt like they about threw a parade for me. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody around here is Cowboys fan, so like me playing there is like literally a dream come true for everyone around here, all the small town kids, because that's just where we we always grew up, like naming ourselves like Michael Irvin or Troy Aikman or whatever it may be uh, on the playground playing. And uh, you know, just, just to play for Jerry and, and the Dallas Cowboys, man, it's a it's a dream come true for me and and everyone who's involved in my life. And what do you you feel like your time with the Steelers showcased what you're capable of in this league? Say that one more time. To what degree do you think your time with the Steelers showcased what you're capable of doing in this league? Um, I feel like, you know, with, with everything that transpired at Pittsburgh, um, I didn't really get to show my full self. Uh, you know, we had we had a, a crowded room at, at receiver. But, I mean, nothing against anyone else. But I just feel like there's, there's a lot of me left on the ball. And I didn't really get to fully develop myself and, and make strides like I wanted to. And, you know, I'm going to take full advantage of this opportunity in Dallas and, and uh, do 
what I can so that they get 110 percent of me and 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 I can reach my full potential. Were you wondering if the Cowboys would come after you uh, when, when you were coming out of Oklahoma State? Uh, were you were, you visited the Star, I think, right? I did, yes, sir. Um, you know, I, I was praying and hoping they would, to be honest with you. But uh, I won't take anything away from that. You know, I appreciate Pittsburgh and everything for drafting me. Um, but yes, coming out, I, I was I was hoping that the Cowboys would, especially after that visit. You know, getting to see the Star and. Uh, as a kid going to games at Cowboys or uh, AT and T Stadium, and uh, I actually played there in high school in the state in the state championships too. So that just made it even more uh, made me even more eager to get in there and, and actually be a, a real life cowboy. Dez kind of predicted this. Did you give Dez a heads up that you were coming? Uh, you were coming on. I didn't. I didn't. Man, it's crazy when he when he uh, actually tweeted that. I, I uh, replied with like the eye emoji on it. Like, oh, like really, Dad? Like, what, what do you know that I don't know? Because I I didn't hear anything from the Cowboys at that point in time. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's, I mean, he spoke into existence, and you know, I prayed on it. And I just kept working, and you know, lo and behold, uh, the Lord blessed me with an opportunity, and so did the Dallas Cowboys. So I'm, I'm very thankful for. It for everyone and each and each and every person that was involved on in that decision. You mentioned there's meat left easy. on the bone and, and, and room left for you to develop, develop. Where is there most room for you to develop or where do you most want to grow your game this year? Uh, I want to grow my game to be who I was in college because I feel like who I was in college is, is who I'm meant to be. And, um, you know, I want to be that down the field threat. I want to be that that physical guy. I want to get involved in the run game. I want to, I want to basically. I just want to do everything. I, I want to be involved, and I would just. I, I want to be a guy on this team, and you know, just whatever I have to do to get to that point, I'm going to do it. When you look at the success Cedric Wilson had uh, on this team last year, and what what he's able to get from Miami, and you look at the three wide receiver sets the Cowboys play. Do you see opportunities there for you to get a to, to do more than you were able to do in Pittsburgh? Uh, for sure, for sure. Whether whether that's in the run game or passing game, whatever it may be, um, you know the, the Cowboys' uh, offense is, is it, it's it's like a it's like a highlight reel every Sunday. I feel like they have something crazy going on, and uh, Kellen Moore does a great job with. Utilizing guys, putting guys in the right position, uh, utilizing their strengths, uh, and and putting it to all together to where each guy is like helping each other, each other out, and uh, just I guess maximizing their strengths all at once. You played mostly with Ben at quarterback in Pittsburgh, but during his injuries and played with other guys. What took you to developing chemistry with a new quarterback? Um, just just to see if we can get the chemistry. That's the main thing. And uh, I, I love Dak's work ethic, and I just I love the guy he is and the personality. Um, you know, heard nothing but great things about him. But uh, you know, it's a fresh start for me, and uh, I just get to uh, you know make a good impression on him and the team as well. And you know, that, that's all I can hope for is just that we get that chemistry down, and and I can add to the fire. How often are you on the ranch? What, what's a day or an off-season like uh, for you, and what, what kind of work are you doing there? Uh, I'm, I'm used to doing everything. I usually go work out at like 8.30, 9.30 in the morning, come back, feed horses, feed cows, check everything, make sure everything's good, um, go back and work out in the afternoon from 3.30 to 5.30. And if I got a little time, I'll come home and sometimes rope, uh, rope on the weekend sometime and Come back and dock the cattle, uh, check on horses again, make sure everything's fed. And other than that, I just hang out with my wife here at the house and just enjoying the ranch life out in the middle of nowhere. Was that your goal is to have a ranch one day and, and work with cows and horses and stuff? Oh, for sure. 
as a kid, I mean, I, I, I dreamed that uh, my dad's family, they're big, they're big cowboys and ranching and everything. So growing up, watching them do it just kind of rubbed off on me. And, and I have no other dreams besides doing that, to be honest. Have, have you come across many other guys in, in football, whether it be college or the, or the pros that are interested in the same thing? I've met a few. I mean, they they all pretty much come from the same backgrounds, these small towns or Wyoming or, you know, some other state where, you know, roping and just doing the things I love is, is, is big for them. Uh, you know, just the way that I feel like I can try to provide for my family outside of football and like it's something good at since I got went to college, I guess for for that degree. So it's all working out. Hey, Jason. Sorry, have you, you, were, okay. have you got your degree yet in that, or are you still working towards it? I did. So I I graduated before I went to LA. I I got uh, I got my degree in agricultural business. Hey, James, I apologize if you've already been asked. Um, what, what do you feel you do best as a receiver? Uh, I like I like my aggressiveness to, to go up and make the 50-50 catch. You know, um, I'm going to go up and I'm going to give you 102% effort and try to come down with that ball. Uh, no matter where it's at, you know, I, I just, I like my aggressiveness for sure. That's, that's what I feel like my, my strength is, is attacking the ball. Trust my hands. Oh, oh, yeah, along those lines, um, the Vikings game last year, there seemed to be a couple of pretty good examples of that. Your feel for the ball in the air, your comfort in traffic. Where does that – do you agree that that Vikings game was a pretty good example of what you can do? And then do you, what, do you, what would you say that sense for the ball in the, in the air, where that comes from? Um, I mean, not, not, not like on a fanboy type deal, but in college I watched a lot of – Ben Bryant and Justin Black in the film. Um, and, you know, just, just to see what those guys made it from from college, you know, I wanted to basically follow in their footsteps. And so me and Casey Dunn, which was a receiver coach at Oklahoma State, you know, he put a cut up together for me, and I would literally just grind and grind watching those guys compete at the ball and watching the way that they attack the ball and just the way they carry themselves on the field. And, uh, you know, I just I just try to mold myself like that because I feel like that's who I want to be, and that's you know that's kind of just that's the hill I want to die on. You know. When you were talking about the you know helping out in the run game, are you talking about it as a blocker, or are you talking about as someone who's going to line up and get the ball out of the back? I'm talking. I'm talking blocking. I'll let I'll let Zeke and, and Tony do all that because that's what they do best, but. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm a receiver. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind blocking those guys because they block for us on passing. So I definitely don't mind blocking for them. I didn't know you if you're talking like, ego stuff or not. No, no. <laughs> Anybody have anything else for him? You can, when you're in the slot, your route tree is not maybe what people think of the, of a typical slot guy in that. You can stretch the field a lot from there. Would you would you agree that you add a little something from the slot? And and, and what do you think that does for um, to an opposing defense when you can attack that way from that from that alignment? Uh, I think it makes guys play it true. You know, uh, sometimes you'll get guys that that play on defense and. Just because they think that you know the route tree may be limited, they may play that that coverage different. And uh, I feel like a guy who can you know take the top off, or a guy who can get in sitting zones, uh, it makes guys play it true, which could also open up things for the guys outside, or in turn, you know, open up things for the back as far as like swing outs or whatever else it may be. So, um, you know, I'm definitely cognizant of that and. Gonna do what I can, you know, my with, with my time in the slot or wherever it may be that they have me. And the last one for me. Um, you, you haven't met, you haven't played much special teams um, over the course of your career. Uh, why why is that? You think? And is that something 
that you're open to, or I don't know, just maybe you can explain why you haven't played much in that area. Um, you know, that's a good question. I really, um, in Pittsburgh, I played a few special teams my freshman year. I mean, my freshman, my rookie year there, and um, I didn't, I wasn't huge on, uh, I guess, jammer, you know, because I, I never really played DB, so that really wasn't my strength. Um, I was back up on kickoff return as an off returner, which I'm okay with doing that. Uh, you know, I, I guess that was all on them. You know, whether they wanted me there or not, I didn't have a problem with doing it, and I, I didn't mind doing it. You know, if they told me to do it, I'm good. I got you. Is it important, you think, to, to, especially, and I don't know how the depth chart is, it's really early to even think about that sort of a thing, but, you know, the more you can do as a player, obviously, for the team, the better. Um, is that a conversation that you've already had with the Cowboys or is it you'd want to have so that in this off season phase of where we are now, you can, you know, do whatever you, it is that you would need to do to prepare for a larger role than you've had? For sure. For sure. I haven't, I haven't had any special teams talks, um, to be honest, but you know, in my, in my eyes, it's just another opportunity to be on the field and, you know, if I can maximize my opportunities on the field, that'll, that'll maximize me in the long run. So, you know, I'm just kind of whatever you need me to do, I'll definitely do it. Thanks. James, how quickly did some of this transition come? Like, do you already have the playbook to break down film, or when do you get that, if not? Um, so they've kind of, you know, breaking the skin with a little bit of things. Uh, a few things here and there, just so I can be caught up whenever spring ball starts. Um, you know, I'm trying to get caught up as quick as I can because I don't want to, you know, show up day one and everybody's going through it because they know it. And I, I don't want to hold anyone back and I definitely don't want to set myself back. So, you know, I've been definitely putting in mental hours and trying to get up to speed so that once I get there, I can get in with those guys and, and, and make an effort. All right. Thank you, James. Appreciate it.